Yeah, so it's a very dynamic market right now. I think first and foremost, within ad tech, we are, the industry is hitting a point of maturity, which naturally happens where you see consolidation among the larger scale players. And I think that's particularly true among the anchor tenants in our space, so the major demand side and supply side technologies. You also have this theme around supply path optimization really driven from the buy side. And that's been a theme for at least four or five years, but we've seen more activity against that in the last 12 to 18 months than we ever have in the past. And so buyers are getting really serious about narrowing down their technology partners and forging much deeper relationships with a smaller set of strategic partners. And you also have emerging themes like sustainability that I think are really important to the industry where we can see there's unnecessary duplication happening, in some cases at really large scale. And we as an industry need to do our part in terms of removing sort of the waste and the unnecessary duplication that's happening and improve and streamline how the broader industry operates. And so you have all of these different dynamics converging around uh, you know, the, the industry and we're, we're seeing that start to take place. In addition to all of that, you know, we've entered a, a more difficult economic environment that I also think is unfortunately taking its toll on some of the players in the space. And we've seen some news about that recently, but that's sort of how we view this dynamic around consolidation in the market. And should I talk about the sell side a little bit, uh, what some of their expectations are and how, how that's changing? Well, I think it's important to look at the different components, certainly in the case of, of our business, we have a business built around formats like display and short form video, and that marketplace looks one way. And then we have a business built around the streaming ecosystem. And those businesses in many cases operate very differently and so therefore require unique approach and unique software to service those customers. And so in the display and short form video landscape, you've seen this proliferation of header bidding, media owners using a variety of different exchanges. And there are economic reasons for that. But at the same time, based on what we've just shared, we do see a theme of consolidation and working with fewer partners for a variety of the reasons we discussed. In the streaming landscape, we're starting from a place where things are much more consolidated, right? This is a scarce asset. There's a very, very high priority put on the user experience, particularly around potted ad delivery. And it's a very deal-driven marketplace. And so the major media owners tend to prefer using strategic plumbing versus a wide swath of technology players. And so the marketplaces look a lot different. Um, and so I think it's important to sort of identify those two different spaces when, when looking at how the industry is developing. And Sean, it's going to be great to be together in about a week um, at the Beat Retreat. Really appreciate the partnership with Magnite. What are your hopes uh, also, as sort of a veteran of the Beat Retreat, what do you hope uh, we discuss and sort of accomplish? What are, what are some of your hopes? Well, as you know, we're big supporters of the Beat Retreat and have been for some time. I couldn't be more excited about having it here in the Berkshires. Obviously, a very special place for, for me, given it's, it's our home, uh, but a beautiful time of the year. Uh, and I can't wait to have what is undoubtedly a fantastic group uh, together here in the Berkshires to discuss the industry's most, most pressing needs. And so we couldn't be more excited to be a, a partner in this. And obviously it's a, it's a, it's a special one for, for me in particular, given you know, we're right around the corner from home base.